Nigeria and the Netherlands have agreed to work to, together to improve bilateral trade relations as well as private sector investment. Special Advisor to the President on Media and Publicity, Femi Additional, said this in a communique issued at the end of a bilateral meeting between President Muhammad Buhari and Prime Minister Makrud at the presidential villa in Abuja on Tuesday. At the meeting, Buhari and Root reviewed the progress that has been made with implementing the Memorandum of Understanding on Deepening the Bilateral Relations between the two nations signed in The Hague in July 2018. Buhari also noted that the contributions of Dutch private businesses to the Nigerian economy is duly noted and added that Nigeria is committed to continuing reforms for a conductive business and investment environment. Our microeconomic policies are being strengthened in order to guarantee economic stability. Ladies and gentlemen, now is the opportune moment for Nigeria and the Netherlands to engage more concretely and collaborate more closely for our mutual economic benefit and sustainable development of our two countries. It's no accident that representatives of eight major Dutch companies, for example, from the agri-food sector, from oil, uh, from many other sectors in Dutch society, have joined me on this trip. Because they see the many opportunities offered by having closer ties with Nigeria, which has Africa's biggest economy. An economy that has a lot of potential to grow even more. And therefore, I'm also proud that we just signed a communique agreeing to deepen our political and economic partnership. The future of Dutch-Nigerian relations is full of opportunities. President Buhari and I, and we have now met so many times in The Hague, here in Nigeria, in New York, and in other places. We will work hard to make sure that together we seize those opportunities. And I'm looking forward to that future together between the Netherlands and Nigeria. But can I also say that I look forward to working together with President Buhari.